I'll bring the pieces over to here to Art Graphics and then um, Simon and the team uh, start looking at the framing. And what we've been discussing is to do some water gilding, really the sort of top level framing for these pieces is going to give it you know just even more of a lift within regards to the quality of the piece and that sort of thing which is really important to me so uh yeah so this piece is just literally just finished so we're um we're now going to um frame it up just the same as the rest of them simon who does all my framing he's going to explain the technique of it this whole frame started with bare planks of wood that we've turned into profile through machining our own profile. That's what's given us this beautiful depth on the side here. And then the raw wood has been joined in a very, very strong method using uh, veneer slices through the corners to get a very, very strong frame because what you don't want is any, any movement in the final frame that fractures that lovely finish. Um, so, so it all starts with the construction. And then we've applied gesso, which is the Italian, it's marble dust effectively, that's uh, combined with rabbit skin glue, which uh, mm. is a very traditional method, mm. mixed into a, a, a lovely smooth clay that's uh, laid in 10 coats onto the wood, onto the bare wood, and polished to a porcelain-like finish. Mm. Uh, and then, and that's the finish you can feel here on the side that's so beautiful and silky, that is, yeah. a, that's a polished gesso. It's an ancient Italian method that dates back to the Renaissance period and before. And then and further clay coat is added, which is a, a coloured clay underneath the gold. And if you look very carefully, you can just see the colour of that clay glows through the Yeah, the, the red. Gold. See the red? We go with the yellow, which is the first coat, and mm. then a red coat on top of that. We, we apply the gold with something called sizey water, which is uh, a very light adhesive of, again, rabbit skin glue in the water. We flood it to create a dome of water and then drop each individual leaf of gold into that. And it's a capillary action that pulls the leaf down into the, into the damp clay where it locks on tight. Mm. And as it dries, it gets beautiful. And then we can eventually, when it's, you hit it with a little tool, which is a, a little stone, and if it has a nice ring to it, you're ready to burnish. The whole point of the water gilding is to burnish and that's where we use a stone and we, we polish and polish and polish yeah. until the gold is completely flat and shiny as you see now. Yeah. And, uh, and then we just gently wipe with alcohol which brings the clay back through the gold. You want the gold to be very gold but also some of the warmth of the clay underneath coming through. Mm. And all together that's what gives this wonderful appearance. Yeah, it's great. And we're doing, uh, there's 10 of these, is that right? 10 in total. That is water gilding. It's an extremely long process and things can go wrong in the middle of that process and you might have to go back and put little bits of leaf in, but it's a time-honoured tradition and it, I think it looks great, don't you? I do, yeah. An art in itself. 